All right, hey YouTube people, I'm back again taking a look at these two devices, the Z13 and the X13. Both of these are the 2022 editions, 6900HS and the 12900H on this device. Uh, both of them have the same uh, 1920 by 1200 resolution. And I have done some testing now with the XG Mobile. So uh, for those of you uninitiated, the XG Mobile is a portable external GPU compute unit, uh, kind of a dock solution as well. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, it folds out and lets you kind of set it on a table and it has plenty of fresh air for cooling. When you do it that way, you can also use it on its side. It has bumpers for that if you want to kind of use it in that configuration, although it does get hotter if you do that. But cool, cool device. Um, ends up making the machine very, very fast, comparable to a desktop, uh, almost, performance. Uh, if you compare it to the 3080 in notebooks generally it tends to be quite a bit faster just because it has more thermal headroom because the gpu is completely separate on its own it isn't dealing with any of the other system component heat and therefore it can you know use quite a bit of watts the 3080 version can do uh, i think 150 watts and some people have even modded the BIOSes to go 165 watts however um we're going to look at performance using this this is a 3070 edition of it um, word to the wise, if you want to pick one of these up and you have access to the 3070, the 3070 version of this is quite powerful on its own. Uh, most of the benchmarks between the two, between the 3070 XG Mobile and the 3080 XG Mobile are within 5-10% of each other. Um, so uh, you would not go wrong to get a 3070 over a 3080 and save yourself 300 bucks if you're looking into something like that. That's what I did. Uh, I just don't see the extra value in spending a couple hundred extra dollars um, when you're already getting that level of performance. So that's what I did my testing. Now this 3070 version is not available in the US. Um, the only uh, markets that are in are other countries uh, outside the US. I actually imported it uh, from Japan. Um, so but I'm doing my testing with that today. I have lots of benchmarks so we can see uh, in my comparison between the Z13 and the X13, I told you guys that I thought the Z13 would be much quicker with that XG Mobile because by removing all the thermal headroom from the GPU and giving that back to the CPU, it should be able to boost quite a bit higher. Um, but we're gonna compare the two benchmarks of these two devices and I'll get right into it. Um, let me switch over to the benchmark stats and we will look at it right away. So here we go. Um, keep in mind 3070 XG Mobile, we've got the X13, which is the AMD in red and the Intel in blue. Now, um, let me shift this over just a little so you can see the percentages there. So um, you can see in the Time Spy, uh, we got a score of 10,096 with, with the AMD X13 and the Z13 got 11,284. So it was about almost 12% faster uh, in Time Spy. And then moving down, don't ignore these totals. They are, they don't mean anything. But Final Fantasy 15, uh, I actually, I used to have the old X13 2021 edition with a 3080 XG Mobile. Uh, I no longer have that on hand, but I do have a few benchmark results that I had taken at the time. Take a look at this. This is really cool. So uh, the old X13, the very first XG mobile device, scored a time <coughs> a Final Fantasy score of 11,925. Now we are using the 3070. So we went from 3080 to 3070, but still that 2022 version of the X13 with its Ryzen 6900 uh, HS chip scored higher 12408 four percent faster the 3070 with ryzen 6000 was four percent faster than the 3080 with last gen ryzen so really cool result there however the z13 uh, intel 13402 eight percent faster 
than that uh, than the Ryzen X13. Uh, Metro Exodus, uh, kind of the same same thing going on here. Uh, the Ryzen got 65 average frames per second, where the Z13 did 70.84 and 8% uh, lead. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, a big lead in this one. Uh, the Z13 was able to provide 147 average frame rates where the uh, X13 Ryzen only 118. So the, the Intel Z13 was 25% better in that particular gaming benchmark. So um, those are the results. I know a lot of you were asking for that and looking for that. If you enjoy this type of no-nonsense content uh, where I just give you the takes and the numbers that I have, um, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, hopefully you like these videos and I'll keep making them because I love this stuff and I'm doing it anyway. So I like just kind of touching base and keeping people informed as I play around with it. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.